Hi guys and welcome back to my channel and happy Valentine's Day! Today I'm going to do a little get ready with me. We're going to go ahead and do makeup, hair, and get dressed. If you like doing things special for Valentine's Day then I'm sure you're going to love this video with me. So let's get into it. I first want to mention what is currently on my face. I have cleanse with calendula deep cleansing foaming wash. I've also went in with Cosrx essence. I put that all over my face, neck, decollete. Then I went in with Kiehl's creamy avocado eye treatment. To tone, I did the Glow Recipe toner following that Glow Recipe watermelon dew drops to seal it all off. Olay Active Hydrating Fluid. I'm first going to go in with e.l.f.'s Sun Touchable Woe Glow Sun Protection and Makeup Primer. I'm gonna do a good dollop. I'm gonna warm it between my fingers and I'm gonna place that where I want certain things primed. I'm just stamping and pressing that in. I'm gonna bring the rest down my neck. I'm gonna let that dry while that's drying. Go in with my Urban Decay Anti-Aging Eyeshadow Primer. Warm it between your two ring fingers. Stamp it on the base of your eyelid. Move the rest to your crease wherever you're gonna be placing shadow. Fun, I've been playing a lot this month with my MAC palette. Just finding which colors I like lately. Yay, I'm now going to conceal. I'm gonna be using this combo of Benefit Erase Paste and Tarte's Shape Tape. For Benefit's Erase Paste, I'm also gonna be using this Real Techniques accent brush and I just wanna conceal the darkest parts of my mama bear circles. And what I like to do with the Benefit Erase Paste is to really stamp it in. Not swiping motions, take the necessary slow process time to get your concealer where it needs to be. And a little is the best. I'm going to use my two ring fingers and I'm gonna gently, gently stamp it in as well. There we go. Okay, next up, shape tape, very, very little. Wipe some off of the doe foot and I'm just gonna place it right on my darkest parts and use my already pre-moistened beauty blender. And I chose a pink one for today cause it's love day. I'm going to do the same motion, stamp, but really keep it targeted right where I want it to just brighten me up and then blend. And I'm not using any foundation. I'm just gonna use some powder and this primer. Let me know what your favorite concealer combo or concealer ever is. I would love to try it. Now that I've got my concealer on, I'm gonna go in with my Benefit Gimme Brow in the number six. And I'm gonna do my same trick here. Brush the hairs down that are on the top. Do that to the other side because I want to let this side get a little tacky. And then I'm going to stick it back in and now we're going to brush up and style. I'm going to turn it and hit these tops. And there we go, there's one. Let's do the other one. Dip it up back in. Now we're going to brush up and style. There we go. Brows on. Next, I'm gonna go in with my Revlon Color Stay in the color 820 Light. I'm also gonna be using this powder brush, the airbrush from It Cosmetics. Now that my primer is dry, I'm going to go ahead and swirl, get a good amount on my brush. I'm going to first blow, then tap. I'm gonna try that technique. I'm gonna set my eyes first, then my forehead, and then swipe down my neck, and then swipe up. Make sure you blend it into your hairline. Now we can swipe with our eyes. Ah, powder on. Mm, mm. 
Mm. Now that my powder is on and everything is set and my eyeshadow primer is also dry, I'm going to be dabbling with my MAC palette that I've created. The colors I'm going to be using for my base eyelid is going to be Malt. On top of the base is going to be all that glitters in my crease. I'm going to be using Wedge and then for a little wing I'm going to be using Micellar Water with Sable. For Malt I'm going to be using this Coastal Scents BRC 902 brush and I'm going to swipe Malt all over it and place it on my base. I've been really loving this very neutral color. It really complements my skin well. I do about two coats of malt. So there's malt. It's very, very nice and subtle. For all that glitters, I'm going to be using this Soho brush. I'm gonna really coat this brush as well. I just want this to be mostly on my center eye. I'm gonna go in again, just go up and down and hit my center. Let me move in. Okay, flip your brush. For wedge, I'm gonna be using this Real Techniques base eyeshadow brush. I'm only going to swirl that on the tip of the brush. Tap and blow that out. I first press that powder into where I want it, then I swipe right all up in my crease make definition for my eye. I've been really liking this combo. I'm gonna do the same to the other side. Dab it in and then swipe. Okay. For my wing, I'm gonna be using the Real Techniques brow brush with Sable. I'm gonna just put a drop on my angled brush. I'm just gonna swipe it on my towel to get rid of excess. I'm gonna really douse this color on the brush. I'm just going to stamp this. There we go. I've really been loving playing with the micellar water too. Do the other side, stamp it, get it on the outer and then turn it and come back in with it. And there we go. Pretty cute. Now that we got eyeshadow on, let's go ahead and move to blush. Today we're gonna do e.l.f. blush in the color Tickle Pink. I'm going to be using my Bare Minerals Angled Face Brush. And I really like this pretty, pretty pink. If you haven't checked out e.l.f.'s blushes, definitely do so. I'm gonna smile to get my apples. Okay. I'm now going to take my powder brush, blend that up and out so that it looks seamless. Yay. Next, we're gonna do mascara. I'm choosing two CoverGirl mascaras today. I'm going to be going in first with the CoverGirl Full Lash Bloom and then finishing off with the CoverGirl Clump Crusher. For the CoverGirl Full Lash Bloom, I'm going to only stamp, ow and careful to not hurt yourself okay i did about three four stamps i don't want crazy crazy mascara i just want pretty definition so there we go i'm gonna clean that up in a moment now let's go in with the clump crusher and i'm just going to use the curved side and gently fan it all out while the full lush bloom is still wet this combo is really, really cute. I'm going to turn it now for my outer. And then I'm gonna swipe with the Clum Crusher just on the center of the bottom lashes. And there we go. Remember, curve side and kind of swipe and feather it out. I'm gonna turn it and swipe my outer lashes to fan them out. And then I'm gonna do my bottom center Okay, so there we go. I'm gonna go snag a Q-tip to clean this up. Okay, I've cleaned up my eye area with the Q-tip. 
I'm gonna go and do this trick. Micellar water on the lash separator to kind of get the lashes wet, separated, and then go in with the brush and make them look feathery. Let me get my towel. I do about two, three drops, and I'm gonna go in at the base, then pull. And then I go in with the brush. While the lashes are still wet, I want them to look feathery. Wipe off any excess. And there we go. Okay. Now the last two steps are lips and set. I'm going to try this combo. I've been super loving my Elia in the color Saint, the lip oil. It's been a huge go this month. But I want to try this combo with some NYX in B52. I'm going to go in first with the NYX lipstick. And I'm just going to put it on the center of my lips. I'm going to hit the middle here. We've got that. Now let's go in with the Alia lip oil. I'm gonna first make sure the most of the product gets on the outer part of my lip. Ooh, it's pretty. Blend, blend, blend. Wow. <laughs> I like how my combos are happening, Mr. Captain. Okay, now that makeup's on, let's go ahead and set our makeup with the CoverGirl Priming Glow Mist. Now let's move on to hair. I'm going to bring my hair down. I'm going to spritz it with this Chi 44 Iron Guard because I'm going to be using some heat. Okay, now I'm going to go in with my brush here and I'm just going to brush out all of that heat protectant. Now I'm going to part my hair on the left side where I want it. Separate your hair into two halves from top and bottom. And then I'm going to go in with this blow dryer hairbrush. I got a mention in the um, right here below what the brand is. I got this off of Instagram, so I don't, there's no brand name on this, but I'm sure Conair has one by now. I'm just going to put it on the medium or middle setting and just twist your ends. And then when you get to your roots, twist them up. And then you can come down and twist the ends again. There we go. See how you get that. I'm gonna twist my roots up and then get to your ends and twist your ends. And then I like to do them both together. Yeah, so there's one. Let's do the other side. Twist your roots up. Pull and twist your roots down. Do the back. Twist your roots up. Pull, twist your roots down. And then get your middle back piece. Twist them up. And then twist your roots down. All right, now I'm just gonna bring down my, take away my clip, and I'm going to just work the back first. Back to middle heat, I'm gonna grab a chunk in the back. Let the heat hit it on hot, on the high roots pulling up. and then pull your roots down. Okay, so I get some ba -ba 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 volume. I'm 
I'm just gonna hit my bottoms here. There's my beautiful hair. For hairspray, I'm going to be using the Garnier Fructis uh, Style Volume Hairspray 24 Hold Anti-Humidity Hold Number 3. I want this to just be a little bit on the top on my edges here. That's where I want the hold to be. And then I'm just going to turn away, hit that. I'm just going to smooth it with my hand. Smooth this down, but then give it a flick and shake. Pretty darn cute and cute. All right, let's go get dressed. Here's my outfit. I'll be back in a jiffy. Here's the full look. So on my feet are Walmart's Uggs. My jeans are the Lauren Conrad jeans. I'm also wearing a Portland Maine pink sweatshirt with a nice v-neck open top. Underneath is a Nine West basic white t-shirt. My makeup is the makeup we just did. My accessories are my heart necklace, my wedding band and ring, koala berry nails, and a nice pearl earring and Avon passion spray. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I surely did. I'll see you on the next one. Bye!